Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Friday, April 9th. I'm not in school again today. I hope you're doing awesome. And I trust that you're treating each and every adult who's working with you really, really well. So today, we're going to go back over what we did yesterday for Writer's Workshop. Yesterday, you worked on a journal entry about friends. And I forgot to tell you um, when I was doing the recording yesterday that I wanted you to make sure you did a picture as well. So if you haven't done your picture or you haven't finished your writing, I want you to finish this piece of writing first. So whoever was the adult yesterday collected your papers, I hope, or you put them into your writing binder, I want you to take them back out and finish that piece of writing first. So now I'm going to show you what I want you to work on today if you finish the writing from yesterday and your picture. I picked another prompt and this one is about your favorite food. So you can see that there are some sentence starters for this one as well. I want you to choose your favorite food, which was really hard for me because I love lots of different kinds of food. I had to really think about this one. Then we're going to use some of the things that we know about that food to write our journal. So here is the start of my writing. Again, I took a new piece of paper. If I was finished the other one, including your picture. And, we, and you notice that there's sentence stars. So it says my favorite food. And it says my favorite food is. Now, if you look at my writing, you can see where I circled it. I copied those exact same words. My favorite food is, and then I wrote what it was. So my journal says, my favorite food is empanadas. Then I went to the next sentence. It says, it looks like, and again, I went over here and copied, it looks like. Now, if you've never seen an empanada, it was really hard for me to think about what it looked like. I had to really stop and kind of picture it in my head and then try to match that up with some words. So here's what I came up with. It looks like a pocket stuffed with yummies because an empanada kind of looks like a pie, but it's kind of folded over. And inside is all kinds of really yummy filling like um, there's meat in there and it's got some onions and peppers. It's really good if you've never had an empanada before. Now, I made a mistake on the next one, but you can fix it on your own. It says, it smells. Now, when I went to copy that, I put down, it spells. That doesn't make sense. So I would just have to go back and fix that word. It smells real spicy, because they are, empanadas are really like a hot food. You have to kind of like that spicy food. The next one is when I put it in my mouth, I, I want to show you what I did here because I'm not going to write out everything. You are, not me. This is just my model. So I put, when I put it in my mouth, I, and then you see, I kind of put some squiggly lines. That means I would put my writing there. And then I went to the next one. It tastes, it tastes, so my next sentence, and again, I put some squiggles. I could put, it tastes, um, uh, let's see, delicious. It tastes fabulous. It tastes like meat and potatoes and vegetables all mixed into one. And then the very last sentence, I love, and I would put on mine, I love empanadas. They are my favorite food. So where you see those squiggles, remember you're going to put your own writing. And then at the very end, remember, I want you to put a picture. So you may or may not finish this one today. And you know, if you don't, it just goes back into your binder and then we'll have it for the next time. So have a great day. Do an awesome job on your writing. Remember, if you can't spell a word, it's okay. Tap it out. Don't ask that caring adult to do all the spelling for you. Use that beautiful brain of yours. 
Have a great day. And I will see you oh, after vacation. Have a wonderful vacation. I'll see you on the 19th.